There is a war going on right now, in our modern generation. And I'm not talking about Russia and Ukraine, no, it's much more deeper. People like me, my classmates, have the same greatest enemy that everyone considers their best friend, and it's technology. It appears friendly, but sucks all your mental health. It turns power into procrastination, it turns happiness into depression. Like was it normal 20 years ago to wake up and stay in bed for 2 hours literally staring at a brick? Well, phone is a brick technique. Was it normal 20 years ago instead of communicating with your family at the dinner, watch some videos? Was it okay for your mom to scroll through Instagram instead of watching after you? And it's not her fault, it is not her who decided to wake up and watch videos every day. It's not your fault that you care so much about oh, my snap score, my DMs and Instagram. It's the society that shaped you and it is acceptable now to do it. People call you a weirdo, not because you are fat, but because you don't have snapchat downloaded. People call you a weirdo if you decide to go to sleep early and have a great 9 hour sleep. It is weird now to be out of trend and be different. But what is the trend? Becoming a fat worm. And all companies, all apps are designed firstly to make money. Games sell you some skins, some weapons for money. Others use a subscription, others just cost one dollar. But did you notice that Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat do not ask for any of your money? You do not need to pay to watch different content, you do not need to pay to create your own page. So how do these apps actually create money? What do they use to make their profits? You. They use you to make money. They try to make you stare at the screen for longer and longer so they can show you more ads. You are their powerhouse for money. They grab your attention to loot some money, like a mosquito that sucks your blood. And they hire thousands, thousands of different people that make sure that you continue watching and that you become addicted, that you waste your time and become dependent on these apps. The more you watch these stupid videos, the more these geeks and these companies make money. They shift your focus from yourself to the stupid reels. The attention that you could have used to improve yourself, your physique, your mental health, your social abilities, you waste on helping these giants grow and make more profits. And you wanna know how bad the situation is? Try to delete Instagram and live without it for the rest of your life. You won't be able to last for long and no matter how hard you try, in 3 days you'll find yourself watching these reels again. These apps own you, you think that you cannot live without them. It's even much more scary nowadays to lose your phone than your virginity. Honestly, this is our main enemy that is turning people into weak, lazy and addicted mod puddles. And the social medias make you depressed after. You know that you did not unleash your true potential, that you just wasted your entire day watching stupid memes. <laughs> you see different millionaires flexing their watches while you stay in the bed that is covered in rust. That's the harsh reality. The best entertainment is the greatest enemy. And this is the thing that you should be focused on beating your addictions. And right now you're halfway there because you understood and accepted that it's an issue. Now the hardest step, defeat it. And it's not easy. Ooh, I deleted Instagram and now I'm never ever gonna download it again. Bro, shut up. We know you will. Deleting Instagram won't help you to defeat the addiction. It's, you know, like you downloaded from extensions not to watch porn, but you still come back to it in two weeks. You have to understand that you watch Instagrams, you watch TikToks because you do not know what else to do. That's why you just decide to do the easiest tasks available and watch these videos and fall into the trap and help people make money. You do not read because now your focus is fucked and it is too hard to concentrate. You do not do your assignments because again, your focus is fucked. You literally turn your strongest part of the body, your brain, into a piece of fat that is unable to do hard things. Before getting rid of Instagram, ask yourself, what are you gonna do instead? Like you in general, watch Instagram 20 hours a week, what are you gonna do these 20 hours instead? That's the thing, if you do not know, you're gonna find something else that is also destructive. That's why you should build yourself a schedule, ask yourself, who do you want to be in 1 year, 5 years, 10 years, and what do you need to improve? You want to be more fit and stronger? Okay, add gym or any other type of sport to your schedule. You want to be smarter? Add reading times, try to improve your focus. And if you do not have the clear vision for your future, if you do not have the clear vision of who do you want to be, try to do as much stuff as possible. Do as much activities until you find the one that fits you the best. You have to understand that you'll literally have to work till the end of your life. 
You surely want to do something that you enjoy, not something that you hate. Do not get comfortable with your addictions and weaknesses. Do not let nerds in Mate the Team overtake your mind. You are stronger than that. Subscribe if you enjoyed and see you soon. Bye.